Hey, Dr. Peters. Thank you so much for being on this call with me. And congratulations to you and your team for having achieved a phenomenal success and in earning the Two Comma Club Award and joining the Two Comma Club. And that's quite the accomplishment. And so congratulations to you and your team. And Dr. Peters, what do you attribute your success to? I think it's it's the whole team concept, you know, and partner with uh, Dental Implant Machine and, and really getting the structural education to teach my team uh, what they need to do to connect with our patients and then making them accountable. You have to put the right uh, people on the bus in the right positions. And, and we've been blessed in that way. And then also uh, you guys making us accountable and educate us to look at things in a different way. Um, and, I, and I contribute that as a team effort. I mean, you know, just because I can make the donuts doesn't mean uh, I don't have the, I got to have the good people behind me uh, allowing that to happen. And it's a, it's a team effort. And I tell my team every day, it's, I can be as good as I can be, but if I don't have you guys behind me, it's not going to happen. And you're, you guys are part of our team. So that's just the way I look at it. That's great. Great feedback and great advice. Nobody scales Everest by themselves, right? <laughs> no, it does not happen. It does not happen. I mean, I'm, I'm, an, I'm an athlete still, even though I, I'm not as good as I used to be. And that's a story as you get in your 50s. And people have to understand is as good as an athlete you could be, you need coaches, you need support system, you need all those things to make it happen. If you think you're the it, it's it's not that way. You know, it's not that way. Well, wonderful. Thank you. If you were talking to a doctor who is maybe just starting out and hadn't, hadn't achieved the success you've achieved, what advice would you give that doctor? Accountability steps to yourself and to your team and to team to you. That is huge. You have to be accountable to them because they're putting your name out there and, and, and they have to be accountable to you. And you have to have steps and you have to have measurable data to do that. And you always have to be willing to educate yourself and the team to be that much better. I mean, we're looking for the next million. It's just a number to us, but how many people we can serve past that? Can we do 2 million in a year? Can we do 3 million in a year? And, and can we do it well, not just put the numbers on the board, do it well and having those quality steps in place. It, and that has to be there. We all have to be accountable. Can I ask you a, a little follow-up question to that? What are some of the ways that you hold your team accountable? How do you make that accountability happen? We have our, our daily huddle with, with our team, and then we have huddles, implant dental implant huddles. And we talk about calls coming in, how many successes we made. We talk, we, we need to do a better job on our Friday meetings of actually having them and saying, okay, what do we need to work on with the micro things, the interpersonal communications with our patients and with our team, but where did we screw up? Where can we be better? And also recording that data to really evaluate where we could be better. What's one thing to say, ah, oh, you did a good job. It's another to say, you did a good job because of this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. Because then they can look at it. And it's measurable to them. It's measurable to me. That, that's really great. We're always preaching, doing that daily huddle, knowing your numbers and tracking them. And it's great to see that that has been yeah. beneficial for you. One final question for you is if somebody were considering using dental implant machine for their dental implant marketing and, and sales training, what would you yeah. tell that person? I, I tell them to be all in and, and be adaptable. If you're not adaptable, if you think you know all the answers, they're not for you. If you think you want to be better and you want to be coachable, coachable, because, you know, I, what I learned with you guys is you don't want to get in a situation. I don't want to get in a situation where I'm not coachable. We're not coachable. So if you're thinking about it, be coachable. If you're spending the money, be coachable and then execute it and then execute what you've learned and then evaluate it. I mean, I'm not the same dentist when we started out this venture about a year ago that I am now. And I'm not going to be the same guy a couple of years from now. My clinical skills are going to get better. My actual oral skills are going to get better. And me getting out of the way of the team. That's what I'd advise. That's great advice. Thank you so much, Dr. Peters. And again, congratulations to you and your team. Welcome Thank to the you. Comic Club. Thank you. You have a great day. Hey, you too. We'll see you. All right. Okay. All right bye.